Hello my friends, welcome to today's spicy powerful vinyasa flow. This is a dynamic full body workout. We'll be building strength, toning our muscles and building flexibility in our body using our own body weight. You do not need any props for the practice. We do have a half moon transition and an optional full splits and if you use blocks for those asanas then have it handy. But then other than that you do not need any other prop you just need a mat and some space and yourself so whenever you are ready i will meet you on the mat we will begin our practice warming up our spine coming on to all fours make sure that your palms are directly underneath your shoulders and your knees are directly underneath your hips bring the tops of your feet onto the mat engage your core tuck your tailbone drop your belly lift your chest through your arms Exhale, tuck your tailbone, round your back, shoulder blades move away from each other. Inhale, drop your belly, lift your chest. Exhale, tuck your tailbone, round your back. Three more of these at your own pace. Make sure that your belly is tight. Come back to neutral spine, tuck your toes and stack your shoulders directly over your hips. Bring your hands in line with your shoulders. Adjust your stance. We'll be leaning back from here. So engage your glutes, squeeze your glutes and thrust your hips to the front. Engage your core and lean all the way back depending on your flexibility in your quads and come back up. So when you're leaning back, we are making sure that we stay in a single line from our knee to our shoulders. So we're leaning back in one straight line. We are not bringing our hips to the heels. So you squeeze your glutes and we are warming up our quad muscles. Shoulders are moving away from your ears. Come back to neutral, bring your hips onto your toes and palms to your chest, balancing on your toes. Bring your right knee down, left foot comes perpendicular to your right shin, you can untuck your right foot. Left hand on the inside of the left knee, right hand extends alongside your ears. Squeeze your glutes and engage your core. Come back to center, switch sides, bring your right foot perpendicular to your left shin, right hand on the inside of your right knee, extend your left hand over your ear. Back to center, switch sides, keep your core engaged, you should feel a nice stretch on your right side body, back to center onto your right side. Come back to center. Rest your glutes on your heels and lift your knees off the mat. Palms come to chest. Bring your heels down on the mat. Come all the way up, coming into Tadasana. Next breath, sweep your arms all the way up. Lift your heels off the mat, engage your core. Swan dive, fold forward. Bring your palms down on the mat. Walk into a full plank. Bring your chest all the way down onto the mat. Push up into a high cobra. Your thighs are still resting on the mat. Chest comes back down. Bring your left foot on the outside of your right thigh and come on to your sit bones so you're now facing the back end of the mat lift your hips up transitioning into a wild thing come back down back to your high cobra facing the front of the mat bring your chest all the way down 
flip your right hip. So your right foot comes on the outside of your left thigh. Plant your glutes down. Lift your hips up into your wild thigh. Come back down. Roll back into your full high cobra. Bring your chest back down. Flip your, flip your left hip. Bring your left foot on the outside of your right thigh and lift your hips up into your wild thigh. Come back down. Back to your high cobra. Chest comes down. Flip your right hip. Right foot on the outside of your left thigh. Lift up wild thing. Come back into your high cobra. Tuck your toes. Lift your hips. Downward facing dog. Walk your hands to your feet. Grab hold of your opposite elbows. Fold forward. Bring your chest to rest on your thighs. You can bend your knees for this. Keeping the contact between your chest and your thigh. Slowly start shifting your weight towards the ball mount of your feet and try to lengthen your legs. You should feel your hamstrings waking up. Sit your hips back down and extend again. And as you lengthen your legs, make try, try to keep the contact between your chest and your thighs. Sit your hips back down and fold forward and extend again. Release your hands, fold forward. Come all the way back into your Tadasana. Next breath as you sweep your arms alongside your ears, lift your heels off the mat, balancing on your toes, engage your core, tuck your tailbone and Try to stay on your toes and slowly sit your hips back, coming into a chair variation. Sink all the way down. See if you can bring your glutes to rest on your heels. Bring your palms down onto the mat, or your fingertips down onto the mat. Lift your right feet off the mat and extend your right leg. Pistol squat and hold. Slowly roll on to the heel of your left foot. Extend your right leg all the way up. Your left foot joins your right. Coming into a boat, full boat variation. Optional to have your knees bent. Whichever variation suits you today. Come all the way back down. Left foot comes back down. Roll on to your left toes. You're back in your Pistol squat with your right leg extended. Tuck your right toes back down onto the mat. So back into your toe balance. Arms come alongside your ears. Float into your chair variation. Come all the way back up. Tadasana. Let's play with that on the left side. Sweep your arms all the way up. Lift your heels off the mat. Engage your core. Slowly sit your hips back, chair, balance here. Slowly sink your hips all the way down onto your heels. Bring your fingertips down onto the mat. This will give you slightly more balance, stability. Engage your core, lift your left foot off the mat. Extend your left foot forward. Point your toes. Roll on to your right foot, extend your left leg all the way up, right leg joins your left, boat, coming into Navasana, flow back the same way you came here, so bring your right foot down, roll on to your right toes, lift up into pistol squat, bring your right left foot down, you can use your hand if that helps. Coming back into your toe balance. Arms come alongside your ears. Float into your chair on your toes. Come all the way back up. 
Tadasana. Sweep your arms all the way up, lift your heels off the mat, sit your hips down, float it to your chair, sink your hips all the way down onto your heels, balance on your toes, lift your right foot off the mat, extend your right leg, pistol squat, point your right toes. Roll on your left foot, transition into Navasana. You can choose your variation. Bring your left foot back down on the mat. Roll on to your left toes. Back into pistol squat. Bring your right toes to tuck back down on the mat. Arms come alongside your ears. Float into chair. Come all the way back up. Tadasana. Sweep your arms up. Coming onto your heels. Sit your hips down, floating chair. Bring your hips all the way down. Fingertips to the mat. Extend your left leg. Point your toes. Roll on to your right foot. Choose your Navasana variation. Bring your right foot back down on the mat. Roll on to your right toes. Back to your pistol score. Tuck your left toes back down on the mat. Floating chair. Come all the way back up. Tadasana. Bring your arms alongside your ears and sit back in your chair. Shift your weight onto your left foot. Float your right leg. Hinge from your hips. Fly into your warrior three. Come back one legged Tadasana. Grab hold on the outside of your right foot with your left hand. Release your twist. Face the front of the mat. Right foot comes on the inside of your left leg left inner thigh optional to bring your arms to touch over your head release your tree you can hold your left hand to the side for stability grab hold of your right big toe with your two piece fingers stay here if this is enough or you can slowly play with kicking your right foot into your right hand and extending your right leg Release your right foot, come back Tadasana, arms come back alongside the ears, sit back into chair, shift your weight onto your right foot, lift your left leg, hinge from your hips, float your left leg all the way back, warrior three, back into one legged Tadasana. Right hand grabs the outside of the left foot. Extend your left leg. Standing twist. Release your twist. Bring your left foot on the inside of the right inner thigh. Optional to bring your hands to touch over your head. Engage your core. Bring your right hand extended onto your side. Release your tree. Grab hold of the left big toe with your two piece fingers. Stay here or optional to kick your feet into your hand and extend your left leg to the side. Release. Back to one legged Tadasana. Sweep your arms all the way back up fold forward, walk into your plank pose, bring your right forearm down on the mat followed by left forearm, walk your feet closer to your elbows, coming into dolphin, lift your right leg up, square your hips, bend both your knees, bring, pull your right knee into your chest, float your left knee. Extend back, 
three legged dolphin bend both your knees right knee to chest left knee floating back to three legged dolphin pull your knees back into your chest lift back dolphin right foot comes back down on the mat extend left leg up pull your left knee into chest float your right knee back into three legged dolphin pull your left knee into chest float your right knee back to three legged dolphin knee comes into chest float back three legged dolphin step your left foot down walk back into your forearm plank hips come down on the mat pull your chest through your upper arms bring your palms to the corners of the mat lift your elbows off coming into a seal release back into sphinx bring your chest down on the mat extend your arms alongside your ears lift your legs and your hands off the mat cactus your arms your elbows come in line with your shoulders open your legs and bring them back together extend your hands back alongside your ears cactus your arms legs open and close extend your hands cactus your hands open and close extend your hands two more cactus open close extend cactus come all the way back down bring your hands in line with your thighs and lift up into lo locust release back bend both your knees grab hold on the inside of your ankles kick your legs into your palms and lift up into your back bend release tuck your toes bring your palms next to your chest engage your core lift your knees off the mat push up plank pose shift all the way back come into to a downward dog lift your right leg up point your toes bend your right knee right knee comes into your chest place your right foot in between your hands bend your left knee shift your hips back Ext flex your right foot you can move your palms in line with your knees if that helps you're pulling your left knee into your chest you're in a floating half split variation come back into low lunge float back into your half split variation come back low lunge float back half split variation come back low lunge one more back into floating half splits back to low lunge bring your right palm on the inside of your right foot plant your left foot down on the mat extend your left hand towards the sky bring your gaze down towards your right foot press through the ball mounts extend your right leg coming into a triangle you can have your left hand towards the sky or you can bring it alongside your ears reverse your triangle bring your right foot parallel to your left spiral all the way down coming into a wide legged forward fold halfway left bring your hips towards your right heel extend your left leg point your left toes towards the sky skandhasana optional to stay here or take a bind release your bind if you have it plant your left foot back down onto the mat lift your hips and float to skandhasana on the other side you can use your hands to help you move 
coming back into low lunge towards the back end of the mat lift your hands alongside your ears high crescent lunge open up warrior 2 make sure that your feet are aligned properly in your warrior 2 reverse your warrior back to warrior 2 bring your right palm on your right hip pop your right foot slightly to closer to your front foot and float into half moon bringing your left palm few inches in front of your left leg slowly release back warrior 2 face the front of the mat high crescent lunge bring your palms down on the mat and as you hinge lift your right leg off the mat you are in an l hold bend your right knee bring your right knee into your chest roll out your left toes come into your pistol squat as you bring your right foot back move back into your l hold plant your back foot down on the mat followed by your left foot or optional one legged chaturanga come back up downward facing dog lift your left left leg up left knee to chest plant your left foot in between your palms make sure that your feet are on parallel tracks and bend your back knee pull your back knee towards your chest and float your hip back flex your left foot floating half splits back to low lunge you can move your palms back and forth to help with this transition two more back to low lunge last one come back into low lunge bring your left palm on the inside of your left foot back foot spirals down onto the mat open your left right hand towards the sky side angle bring your gaze down towards your left foot extend your left leg triangle optional to bring your top arm alongside your ears reverse your triangle bring your left foot parallel to your right spiral all the way down wide legged forward fold half way lift bring your hips towards your right left heel extend your right leg flex your right foot skandhasana towards the back of the mat optional to take a bind release your bind plant your right foot shift your hips to the front of the mat skandhasana on to the other side you can use your hands to make that transition place your palms down onto the mat face the front of the mat this time coming into low lunge cut will your arms open up warrior 2 reverse your warrior bring your right palm a few inches in front of your right foot float your left leg in the air transitioning into half moon from here we can transition through our high crescent lunge and into pistol squat or if you want to be extra funky here try playing with bringing both your hands down towards the mat square your hips and bring your chest to face the ground so you are directly coming into that l hold bring your left knee into your chest roll on to your right toes sit in your pistol squat roll bring your left foot back transitioning back into your l hold back foot comes down on the mat flow through your 
one-legged chaturanga, upward facing dog, all the way back to downward facing dog. So lift your right leg up, three-legged dog, bend your right knee, plant your right foot in between your palms, high crescent lunge, arms come alongside your ears. Bring your palms to your waist, pop your back foot slightly closer, square your hips to the front of the mat, hinge from your hips, fold forward into pyramid. Pull up on the kneecaps of both your legs and your shoulders are moving away from your ears. Lift halfway, plant your left foot down on the mat, twist your chest open towards the longer side, extending your right hand towards the sky. Squeeze your inner thighs so your legs are active and the twist is coming from your belly. Bring your gaze down onto the mat, shift slightly forward, squeeze your inner thighs and if you are comfortable, start floating your back leg. Twisted half moon, keep your standing leg active, pull up on the kneecap. Bend both your knees, bring your left knee behind your right, bring both your sit bones down on the mat, lengthen your spinal cord, wrap your left hand around your right knee, open your chest towards the longest side, take a twist. You might be slightly off the mat, that's completely fine. Release your twist, face the front of the mat, Extend your right leg, bring your left foot on the inside of your right thigh. Bring both your hands alongside your ears. Optional to interlace your fingers, flip your palms, fold forward. Thread your right foot through your palms if you are interlacing your fingers. Keep your extended leg active, pulling up on your kneecap. release face the front of the mat or towards your bent knee bring your right elbow on the inside of your right foot extend your left hand alongside your ears make sure that both your sit bones are down on the mat optional to bring your right palm on the outside of your left knee try to grab hold of your right foot release, face the front of the mat again, place your left foot over your right thigh, bend your right knee and take a figure four stretch. Work your right heel as close to your right glute as possible. Keep your chest open, plant your hands on the behind your back, lift up into tabletop and your figure four. Squeezing your glutes, release back, bring your right shin parallel to the front edge of the mat, stacking both your shins, coming into a fire log, optional to fold forward or you can stay up here. If you are folding forward, make sure that your sit bones stay on the mat. Come back up. Spin your top leg all the way back. Both your hips come down on the mat. We are transitioning into a pigeon. You can stay up in your pigeon or you can hold forward in your pigeon or optional to bend your back knee. Work your back foot into your elbow crease and bind your hands behind your head. Release your bind, tuck your back toes, lift your back knee, lift your front knee up, transition into a low lunge or a runner's lunge. From here, bring your back knee down, shift your hips back, transition into a half splits or optional if you feel that your hamstrings are warm and you want to play with coming into your full splits, extend both your legs out full splits. Optional to use a block underneath your right hamstrings.
lift your hips pull back your front leg coming back into your low lunge or if you are in your half splits come back into your runner's lunge plant your palms shift back into plank flow through your chaturanga upward facing dog all the way back downward facing dog left leg up bend your left knee plant your left foot in between your palms bring your hands alongside your ears high crescent lunge palms come onto your waist pop your back foot slightly closer extend both your legs square your hips to the front of the mat hinge from your hips fold forward into pyramid plant your right arm down on the mat twist your chest open towards the longer side and extend your left hand towards the sky continue to stay here or bring your gaze down towards the mat shift forward play with floating your back foot transitioning into a twisted half moon bend both your knees bring your right knee behind your left sit bones come down on the mat lengthen your spine wrap your right hand around your left knee left hand comes behind your back take a twist release your twist face the front of the mat extend your left foot right foot comes to the left inner thigh bring your hands alongside your ears interlace your fingers flip your palm fold forward come all the way back up face your bent knee bring your left elbow on the inside of your left foot left knee extend your right hand alongside your ears make sure that your sit bones are down on the mat the whole time bring your left palm on the outside of your right knee this will give you a leverage and help you bring your left shoulder towards the inside of your left thigh try to reach for your left foot with your right hand keep your sit bones down on the mat grow tall through the crown of your head release your side bend face the front of the mat again bring your right foot over your left thigh bend your left knee bring your left heel as close to your, your glutes as possible take a figure four stretch open your heart bring your palms behind your back and lift your hips up into a table top release back stack your shins coming into a fire log optional to stay up or you fold forward come back up spiral your top leg all the way back transition into a pigeon you can take the same variation that you took on the other side release tuck your back toes lift your back knee lift your front knee transition into a runner's lunge bring your back knee down on the mat shift back into your half splits or if you play want to play with your full splits choose to do that extend both your legs coming into a full splits release from your splits shift back into your low lunge 
step back plank pose float flow through your chaturanga and upward facing dog bring both your knees down on the mat sit bones come down not to the mat come all the way back adjust your stance make sure that your ankles are directly underneath your knees and your heels are hip distance apart you can lift up into a bridge or if you want to try playing with taking a full wheel lift your hips up coming into a bridge stay here or plant your palms next to your ears squeeze your glutes engage your core and push up into your back bend you can also play with bringing your elbows down onto the mat deepening your shoulder opener release hug your knees into your chest we can take shavasana child's pose we can choose your resting pose take a few seconds to consolidate your practice come back to your normal breath I hope you felt the heat building up through that practice and you felt strong. It is a great practice to build strength in your quads and in your upper body and it a full body practice and it's a great practice to come back to if you are working towards deepening your splits or your back bends or any of those advanced asanas. Flexibility and strength goes hand in hand so do not neglect building your strength and building the tone in your muscles. and it's just a great practice to just use your body weight and get a good workout in and i wish you guys a wonderful week i'll see you on the mat next week please do consider subscribing to my channel your support will be extremely appreciated thank you